Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Dr. Alessandro. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about something called aftus ulcers. It sounds like a strange thing. So, hey doc, what are aftus ulcers? Well, another scientific name for them is aftus stomatitis. But if you wanna get down to what we all know them as, they're canker sores. So, what are canker sores? How do they come about? Because, you know, a lot of people get them, but they don't know how they get them. Well, one reason people get canker sores is trauma. That is, we bump the inside of our mouth, or we bite the inside of our cheek, or you know, something along those lines. And then we get a canker sore in that spot. Another reason it's been thought is viruses. Viruses can cause them, and in fact, a herpes virus can do that, and can cause hundreds of small ones to appear. Uh, yet another reason is uh, stress. So stress has been postulated. It's not, not a hundred percent linked to it, but they say that if somebody is stressed out, they tend to have more, more of a frequency of getting them. Uh, and um, I found that to be true in my case. Uh, so in fact, I have one right now. It is the result of trauma and not stress. I bumped the inside of my lip and uh, it has now an aftus ulcer that is, well, quite painful. I'm gonna tell you, one of the things that aftus ulcers are is painful. They can be smaller or minor aftus ulcers which are anywhere from a half millimeter to, they say up to nine millimeters. And they still qualify that as minor. Uh, I would say that if it starts to push to the nine millimeter mark, it's getting to be major. Uh, the major ones they've decided that are one centimeter and greater in terms of size. Uh, anyway, no matter what the size is, they hurt. Uh, the major ones really hurt like crazy, uh, but they all kind of hurt and sting. They're no picnic. Uh, minor ones, the small ones that you get, can typically last seven to ten days. The major ones can last anywhere from two to four weeks depending on how big and how the person's condition is. So what can you do to treat them? Now, aftus ulcers after all are you know, unfortunately they linger so and then they're stubborn and, and they hurt. So one thing you can do uh, if it's safe for you to take your Tylenols and ibuprofen, you can use those and that kind of helps at least you know cut the edge off of the discomfort. So you can use those med medications and they'll help you a little bit. Uh, in the case of major aftus ulcers, you can probably use an even minor if you want. You can probably get a topical steroid cream uh, prescribed to you by a dentist or a physician, whomever is comfortable doing that. Uh, and that should help things out as well. Uh, other than that, there are other treatments. Uh, you can use a Q-tip, dab it in some hydrogen peroxide and, and put it onto the aftus ulcer. It's probably gonna burn for a little bit, but it should help to feel, make things feel a little bit better. Same things with something that we dentists have in our offices or can prescribe. It's called chlorhexidine or Paradex. Uh, if you take a Q-tip, you dab it into there, uh, and you, you know, apply it right to the aftus ulcer, that actually helps cut the discomfort. It burns a little bit, but then, act, to me personally, because I've done it, I've felt it, it actually feels metallic. Uh, it's a strange sensation. It feels metallic. Uh, but those are things that you can do to help uh, ease the discomfort and the sharpness of aftus ulcers. Again, they are recurrent, so usually people that get them will get them throughout the course of their lifetimes. Uh, and you know, hopefully uh, we'll get a better understanding of them over time and be able to you know, find other ways of helping out with the discomfort because they are quite uncomfortable. But that said, uh, hopefully this has answered your questions about what are canker sores, aftus ulcers or aftus stomatitis, and I hope you're all staying well and healthy. Please like and subscribe and join my channel. Thank you for watching.